farmers, what's going on? No, welcome back to another Haiti video. This video is going to be a little gameplay with tips. I'm basically going to be using a lot of expansion permits and a lot of expansion tools as well to open my land. And I think it's always an exciting day when you expand your farm in Haiti. Now, land expansion is very important. It basically unlocks at level 22 and then you can start um, having access to more of your farm area because once you start hating the beginning, you don't have the access to whole of your farm. You have to work towards it and you use the tools to unlock it. So you use the land deeds, um, the market sticks, and uh, the mallets. These are the land expansion tools and they're actually very expensive. Um, the price of 10 of them is 4032 and it's the same for basically all of the tools, which is actually also a good way to make money. So if you've already expanded your farm, I think you can get a lot of um, money by selling them. Now with the farm expansion, you also have the visionary expansion and the town expansion. But I think in my opinion, the land is definitely more important. I mean, the fishing area is important too. So make sure to open your fishing area spots, um, but don't focus too much on the town. I think then your main focus should be on the farm because I think farm is definitely important. You're going to get so many new machines, trees, animals, pets, and you have to have a lot of place to, you know, put them. So I think this is where the farmland comes handy. But not all the land expansion is simple. Basically, the ones that I'm trying to unlock right now, they require, well, of course, um, the normal land tools, but they also require the expansion permits. Now, I'm not going to talk about the expansion permits in this video. However, if you want to know um, about the expansion permits, there's a really good video in the description. You can watch that to know more about them. But you do need expansion permits to open some areas of your farm mostly the ones that have like a decoration inside them. Well, it's honestly very challenging considering that now you can only purchase like um, 80 tools in a day so you can't even like trade more than them. So I'm just gonna get started with my game. Now how do you get the tools? Well that's an interesting question. My one secret, one thing that's gonna simplify everything which I might not even say, play regularly and play every single day. Focus more on harvesting and your town. Town is the magical. Town is the magic. Town is the best place to go if you are struggling to get the tools. But even if you cannot play the town, I'm not going to understand your level must be low, then you can focus more on the harvesting part of the game. Do a lot of weeding. Weeding can get you so many tools. And then what you can do, you can also send the trucks. Not normally. Sometimes there are events that can help you to get extension items. That might be a little challenging, but I think if you are like really struggling to get the tools, they're worth it. Um, do you complete them? And then of course, um, if you're playing the derby, you'll get them. You can get a bunch from the valley. Sometimes there are events and you get a lot of tools from the thresholds. Once you collect your animals, you get a lot of tools from them. So there are many places that you can actually uh, get the tools in the game. And I think it really depends on how much you play. Um, some people don't play a lot and then they complain that they're not getting the tools. Guys, that's not going to work. You have to put some efforts, put some energy into this game if you really want those results. Now, you can see I have a crazy amount of tools and honestly, 70% of them I must have gotten from the town because I didn't do any trade or anything. I just play regularly, play every day, and I get so many of them. Another great way to get them is from your pets. Once you wake them up, you get expansion materials. I just got a plane, but of course you can also get the land expansion tools. They're basically the same. So um, these things really help. All right, let's see what I can do. I'm actually gonna make some honey over here. So uh, let's run my honey extractor. Let's see what we need for the next otter. Some plain donuts and some pillows. I think I'm just gonna make some of the plain donuts. My gosh, I can't believe that I don't have any white sugar. This is not good. Oh my gosh, I need to make more. I'm also gonna make like a bunch of syrup and the brown sugar over here. Let's collect some products that I've been making. Now, is the land expansion important? I think it definitely is. Some people don't focus on it, but I think it's like one of the most important things to do in the game. You can literally skip everything, but I'm gonna say don't skip the land, guys. It's the ultimate goal that you should be working towards to achieve. I don't think there's any better goal than actually expanding your farm. So a lot of people ask me where should they start expanding the farm. Well, first of all, your priority should be to open your main farmland, like over here. It does not require any um, expansion permits, fortunately. And then you can start coming to your land across the road. Now, not all the land here is going to require the expansion permits. Um, some of the pieces are going to be simple, but most of the pieces, um, almost everything over here at this place, is going to require expansion permits. You do get a few special decorations inside, which I'm really happy about, but it takes ages to get those expansion permits. 
And then it's all your choice. You can start wherever you want to, wherever you feel like um, you want to decorate, you personally like it. So my main focus currently is to open this land over here, you know, this um, lighthouse pieces. So this land was added recently, I think, in one of the last updates. Um, it hasn't been here like all the time. And Hidden Team does keep increasing the land in almost every update. Not every year, but I think they do add more land like, let's say, one and a half year later, maybe two years later, once like players have already opened the land. So it's exciting to have new things in the game. Now, are you guys ready? This is certainly going to cost me a lot of things. So you can see 44 of each land tool and 10 expansion permits. I'm lucky because um, it's not that expensive, but if you come over here to some of these pieces, it's insane. Look at this, 23 expansion permits. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. But I think I'm just going to focus on this. You guys ready? There we go. That feels so good. And um, then you have your land expanded. I recommend you guys to not cut your trees. I think look really cool, they're natural, and they do change their color once uh, the theme changes. So I'm gonna see if I can expand this one over here. Okay, this is, wow, this is expensive. It's not expensive in the sense of expansion permits, but look at the amount of the tools. It's um 62 of each. It's crazy, you guys. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I could actually open this one. It's um the same amount of expansion permits, but less land tools. You know what? I don't care. I'm actually going to open this one over here. going to get this really cool jazzy blue pine tree. So, three, two, one. There we go. That was a lot of um, land tools that I just spent. Oh my goodness me. This is such a cool, gorgeous decoration, which I think is going to be perfect for the winter. I would love if they added more of these trees in the game that we can actually purchase in the shop. That would be exciting. Now, if I'm going to open this one over here, um, I am going to need some land tools. And uh, what about this one? Okay, I'm definitely going to need more land tools, but I do need more expansion permits as well. So, um, that was all about this video. just wanted to talk a little bit about the land expansion and, of course, wanted to expand my farm because it's been a long time. I had not, like, expanded my farm, and I'm so excited that I did it today. So, let me know your guys' progress on the land expansion. It's one of the topics that I don't really talk a lot on, uh, but let me know how are you doing with your farm expansion, what are your priorities, how much farm you've already expanded. I took a really long break, and most of my friends have already, um, you know, gotten ahead of me in the land, and they've already opened so much of their land, which I still haven't, but I'm trying. Gradually, I'm still working. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more hidden content coming. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. I really appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Bye.